What is myeloproliferative neoplasm? Myeloproliferative neoplasm, or MPNs, are a group of blood disorders caused by mutations in bone marrow stem cells. Myeloproliferative disorders was a term discovered in 1951. Myeloproliferative disorders, MSDS, are a type of blood cancer that produces abnormal or large amounts of red blood cells, RBC, white blood cells, WBC, and platelets. This group of cancer-causing disorders is characterized by uncontrolled replication of cells derived from myeloid stem cells. At the end of this article, you will learn about the myeloproliferative disease, its cause, symptoms, and Dr. David Green, Arizona Treatments. Types of Myeloproliferative Disorders The types of disorders are as follows. A. Chronic eosinophilic leukemia, aka hypereosinophilic syndrome. The syndrome causes the overproduction of WBCs, which can turn into acute myeloid leukemia. B. Chronic myelogenous leukemia. WBCs, also known as granulocytes, are overproduced, thus, they accumulate, making it difficult for the bone marrow to make other blood cells. C. Polycythemia vera. Overproduction of red blood cells can cause the thickening of the blood, maximize the risk of clotting, and cause a heart attack. D. Primary myelofibrosis. The disorder causes scar tissue to build up in bone marrow and interfere with average blood cell production. E. Essential thrombocythemia. A disorder where your body produces an uncountable amount of platelets. What causes myeloproliferative disorders? Who is at risk? The two most significant predictors of myeloproliferative neoplasm are a person's age and sex. Age, MPNs affect multiple age group, however, is commonly found in people 50 and above. Sex, polycythemia vera is common in men, while thrombocythemia is common in women. The remainder of the syndromes occurs equally in both cases. Patients are suffering from chronic myelogenous leukemia and myelofibrosis that causes tiredness and pain in the belly. Other symptoms include Shortness of breath Weakness Paleness Loss of appetite Prolonged bleeding from minor cuts Purpura Sinus How can Dr. David Green, Arizona, cure myeloproliferative neoplasm? The diagnostic process of Dr. David Green, Arizona, begins with a physical exam and evaluation of medical and family history. A definitive diagnosis ensures the patient is suffering from MPNs, by bone aspiration and biopsy by testing samples of the patient's bone marrow. Here are a few steps to help you with myeloproliferative neoplasm disorder. 1. Finding a stem cell donor. The doctors locate a healthy donor who can be an ideal match. In most cases, siblings have been the perfect match for allogeneic stem cell transplants. 2. Stem cell collection and transplantation. Peripheral blood stem cell harvest collects stem cells from the matching donor. The process of four infusion to destroy rapidly multiplying cells is called conditioning. After conditioning, collected stem cells are infused into the patient. 3. Recovery from stem cell transplant. As high doses of chemotherapy are delivered, the risk of infection is heightened. Although full recovery can take several months, frequent blood tests help determine the success of the transplant. Takeaway. After an evaluation by Dr. David Green, Arizona, prescribes physical and occupational therapy. In addition, our doctors recommend integrative health therapies, like yoga and massage therapy, to reduce stress. Myeloproliferative neoplasms are a group of cancers treated with R3 stem cell therapy in the early stages.